Welcome back, guys. Uh, today I thought I'd do a another video, a follow-up video, on what I consider to be the most underrated Arch Linux distribution that I have seen. About a week ago, I did a video on SwagArch. After I installed it, I was pretty impressed with it. <clears throat> I'm impressed with its simplicity and its stability. Um, in my opinion, it gives you access to Arch with an easy install, but doesn't overload the system. Not a lot of bloat, but there are some interesting uh, items that are configured for you right out of the box. And so after living with Swag Arch for about a week, uh, maybe a little bit more, I uh, have been, originally, uh, I was using Debian Stretch as my daily driver, and I still use that. But after using SwagArch for a few days, I found myself gravitating more and more towards SwagArch. And the reason is that it's stable. I've had no issues with it. Uh, and as I said, I'm, I'm impressed with the stability of the system. It's very quick. Uh, it's, as I said, it's not overloaded, so it doesn't bog down the system with a lot of things that you might find unnecessary. I really like it, and uh, today I'm doing a follow-up video just to go over some uh, little bits and pieces that I came across that you may or may not be aware of. So the first thing is, in the system tray, and first let me say that this is not the look you get out of the box, but it's pretty close. When you, it's an XFCE distribution of XFCE desktop environment, and there's a pan, this panel is normally at the top, and this dock here is normally at the bottom. <clears throat> so docky, uh, Plank actually comes configured out of the box at the bottom, and let me just want to double check. Yeah, that's Plank. I, uh, I really enjoy Plank. It's the dock that I use most often if I'm wanting to put a dock on the system. Um, so the, the Plank is at the bottom, the panel's at the top. I move things around a little bit and I also added this standard panel here that is just configuration options. So these are basically configuration utilities that I uh, pasted the launchers to the panel and I set it to auto hide. But if I want to get at my printer settings or my appearance settings, I can do that quickly in this dot in this little uh, panel. So that is a standard panel set to auto hide, and I've added a whole bunch of launchers just for configuration utilities. Now. Uh, in the system tray, you'll find that out of the box, Swag Arch gives you Redshift, which is one of my go-to system tray utilities. I normally include that. But also, there is a file search. Now, this file search is interesting because uh, it works kind of like, like the spotlight function in a Mac. Um, it gives you the option to search your database for files. So for example, if I want to find <clears throat> any files related to Arch Linux, as you can see, I've got a lot of Arch Linux uh, in my uh, user directory, my home directory, but also you can add external directories. So for example, if I go into preferences, I have added an external SSD where I can search quickly using this utility. So for example, if I want to search for pictures, uh, it'll bring them all up. All of the folders, uh, the S in my external. So it's a, it's a nice file search option that sits in your system tray and when you need it, you use it. The next thing is it has a uh, settings manager that is uh, basically specific to SwagArch. So if I go to this one here, I think, yeah, this is the SwagArch settings manager. So basically, it's got 
language, language packages, user accounts, time and date, keyboard settings. So it gives you access to those options and you can just click on SwagArt settings and change whatever it is that you want. Now there is an application finder. If you are looking for a specific application you can see there is an application finder utility just type in what you're looking for and it'll locate it so if I'm looking for gparted now of course you can do the same thing in the menu and search and find what you're looking for and you can see how quick SwagArch is now I installed Steam and I installed Blizzard through Wine. No problems at all. Everything runs perfectly. Now there's a little something called the GNOME uh, ENCFS Manager. Now I that's not something I use but basically it's a way to easily manage encrypted directories. So it gives you the option to mount them for a specific amount of time and I did when I saw that in the menu I did a little bit of research and basically it's a utility if you if you do have encrypted folders then you can use GNOME ENCFS manager to manage those folders and um, limit the access for example you can mount it for, for just a specific amount of time and, and if it's unattended it will time out and that's included out of the box uh, keypass X password manager is also included out of the box now I added a simple conky and I created this swag arch wallpaper uh, that you can see it's very simple system but it has everything within easy reach and I really enjoy using this system and that's the key if you enjoy using your system um, you're going to find that you'll be less likely to distro hop and you'll be more likely to get the most out of your distribution out of your operating system so if you've been wanting to try Arch Linux but haven't been sure how to get your feet wet, SwagArch is to me the most underrated Arch Linux distribution. They do a wonderful job. Uh, it has pretty much everything you need, pretty much nothing that you don't. It's not bogged down with a lot of software that you're going to end up deleting. They do a terrific job configuring it the appearance out of the box is nice but you can tweak it any way you want just like I did so uh, guys if you want to try that uh, I'm going to pull up the website and this is the website you can download from here you can learn a little bit of more more about it it uses the Calamaris installer so it's very easy and they've just done an overall terrific job so I want to do a follow-up, give them a little pat on the back, and show you some of the things that I've uh, discovered over the last week. And as I said, I'm using this more and more as my daily driver. So guys, uh, thank you very much for stopping by the channel today. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Take care.